so what we have here is kind of a special fashion Of course, the cat is excited, as you can see there on the left side of the screen. It is Star Trek, but what is it from Star Trek? It is the D4 Bird of Prey from Star Trek Into Darkness. So I am literally just doing this. I just opened the package. It was just shipped to me overseas. Royal Post. There we are. Customs Declaration. It was dirt cheap, so I decided, you know what? Why not? This is my first, I believe... Well, Star Trek for sure, and then uh, Eagle Moss, I believe, is the company. So that's just all the stuff. Collector's model, not designed for play, probably very fragile. And like I said before, this is Eagle Moss, as you can see. Company is based in the UK, but obviously it's not made there. And then that is all the languages they do business in and or have operations in. Clearly, Canada is not one. These are very hard to find. Not really terribly hard to find in Canada. Just, I have never seen one. So I, there we go. So for those of you thinking about purchasing this, that is how they ship it to you. The cat is going to hate this box because it's not going to fit him. But there's the stand in the top right. The ship in the middle, it does look really, really nice. That is the reason I got it, because it looks really, really nice. And as we can see, Loki is disgusted, so off he goes. He's just to the left of me. Right, so hopefully... Two things, I take this out without uh, damaging it, and I take it out without damaging the styrofoam it is in. Uh, we'll start with the base. So there's the base. As you can see, the plastic pin that goes in there. There is the plastic pin. Obviously, it goes underneath the wings. And then the model itself. It is actually, for a plastic model, I, it is quite heavy. I don't have a scale, but there it is in all its glory. I have a similar model, actually, to this, the Final Fantasy dropship. The, I forget what it's called. Scorpion. Scorpion dropship. And there you have it. There's the front of it. There is the side of it. Left side. I do like the uh, centipede type rear end of the ship. And there is the right side. I believe I've already done the top, but it looks so nice. Let's just do it twice. And then we will do the rear end. I just have to put it down because there are a lot of little bits here. I don't want to bend nor break. And the spine is actually like a physical. You can see it. Right anyway, that's the rear end, the ass end of the ship. I apologize. That is the rear end of the ship. Oh, it's so big and kind of heavy too. I don't want to drop it. All the little bits might come out. And then here is the underside of it. Look at that. So for once, they did put actually a lot of detail. No, it's not terrible for what it is. It wasn't super expensive. It cost me twenty nine ninety nine all in from Amazon. So occasionally they do good things. Occasionally they don't do good things. There is just the wing. I will do the underside of the other wing so I don't have to move too much of it. There you have it. It looks really nice. I cannot go over to you for you the specs. The only one thing I see here is this. As you can see, it is not very level. It is just the one minor thing I see. Other than that, everything appears to be... Uh, more or less in order. I know nothing about the ship. It is extremely complicated in terms of parts. So I don't know if that is good enough. 
Uh, do the wings come out? I don't want to bend or break it. But there we have it. The Klingon D4 Bird of Prey, the ones they use as dropships. They do usually, in the movie anyway, not now, but in the movie they have articulating wings. I will not be articulate. I might do an update. If they do articulate, if they don't, then they don't. That's just too bad. I believe because I don't see any instructions. Yeah, it goes on in the back and then angled forward like this. Although I don't really trust this. Like it's on, but it's not on. See, look, the cat is not thrilled. He's not even looking. He just doesn't care. He's more of a Star Wars fan. Alright, so the last thing I have to do is take it out of its... I will put this there. Just gently like that so it's easy to retrieve. We'll open this. And here we have the seal, D4, Bird of Prey, Star Trek Into Darkness, 1386 AD. I believe that is the, ah, uh, it might be the limited edition number, I'm not sure. I'll look it up later. And you see there are the production studios from CBS, obviously the Star Trek franchise. And then there is the pin that it goes into. So thankfully the board I use is friction inducing. And what that means is it will not slide. Although I have a cat, he has never knocked things down, except for toilet paper, which he then proceeds to tear apart. But as for cars, figures, anything else, he has never touched them. So I thank you to the cat. See there, he's being really nice. He doesn't want to be replaced. And there we have it, the D4 in under seven minutes because it's something I know almost nothing about other than I really liked how it looked and it happened to be really cheap. Direct shipping, blah, blah, blah. Fans and friends, this is Tumnus from Toronto. I will for once be ending this video relatively quickly for what it is. So if you are a fan of Star Trek, if you are a fan of this D4, it comes reasonably highly recommended. I do like the spinal skeleton rear end there and there you have it thank you for watching this video and till the next one